To do a dynamic analysis, you must create special dynamic analysis cases as well as potentially add additional loads. Let's take a look at how that's done. If we select the load case manager from the home ribbon or the load ribbon, we get the following dialog. Under the tab Dynamic Cases, we have the option to create a mode shape case, response case, or a time history case. Let's first look at a mode shape case. When I select that, I get the ability to name the, the mode shape case, how many mode shapes I want to get out of my analysis, and how we start the mode shape frequencies. We can start at the lowest frequency or possibly at a specified frequency. And lastly, if we want additional mass. If I select additional mass, I will get the ability to select a particular service case or superposition case, and then say the direction that I would like the math, the loads to be treated as mass. So in this case, for the dead load case, if I have any additional loads in the Y direction, they'll be treated as additional mass. Let's take a look for a second at a basic model. The other thing in dynamics that we can do is to add mass at a node. And this would be the, allow you the ability to add additional mass for, say, operating equipment or anything that would not be included in the self mass or self weight of the structure or any of the additional loads you can add through the mode shape case definition as we just looked at. So if we select a node, we have the ability down here under other to add additional mass at that node. Let's go back to the load case manager and now look at creating a response case. A response case is a modal superposition or sometimes called res response spectrum analysis. When we select dynamic response case, we have the ability to name the case and then select the particular spectrum we want to use. If we have predefined spectrum, they'll show up in this drop-down list. If I select create a new spectrum, I have the ability to create a new spectrum at the bottom of the drop-down. And when I do that, I can specify some ASCE 7 properties, such as the site class, S sub S, S sub 1, cutoff frequencies, points, and so forth. And it will generate then an ASCE7 response spectrum for you. In addition to the spectrum you select, you have the ability to say which direction the seismic input will come. In this example, it's set to come in in the X direction with a factor of 1.0 times the response spectrum. I can also choose the way things are combined. Use the CQC method or the SRSS method. And with CQC, I can specify a damping. I'm allowed to create a signed result set by using the first mode shape shapes to define the directions. And that's important because combination methods are really all positive numbers only. And then I can set a sign on those numbers by using the shape of the first mode shape. And whether I'm going to include this particular case in the analysis, and lastly, which mode shape case, which needs to be defined before this, that I, that I want to use as my mode shapes for combination. The final dynamic case let's talk about is a time history case. If we select Create Time History, the following dialog comes up, and I can name the case, and then define how the forcing function will appear. A harmonic forcing fun function, as you can see in this graph, is a sinusoidal type loading. I can also have a user-defined data set. If I select that, I can then enter data points and have the forcing function follow the data points. And that's done by selecting the, the button here, Import Forcing Function, and it'll ask for a file that is in the format you see here. So for a time history analysis, you can have user-defined data or you can use a harmonic function. Regardless of which of those two you choose, you can then set the um, Numark integration values for gamma, beta, and delta, and I'd recommend you look at the help file for more information on those. And lastly, if I want to add additional mass like the uh, mode shape case in a particular direction using the loads in that direction. So that then covers how dynamic cases are set up in visual analysis.